Robert Morris University's School of Nursing and Health Science is pleased to present an interprofessional standardized patient simulation video depicting a patient hospitalized with an exacerbation of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease who experiences psychosis. The following video has been developed to highlight interprofessional collaboration when treating patients with comorbid physical and mental health diagnoses. Critical thinking and reflection questions to consider when viewing the video include, if this was your patient, what would you have done differently? What physical exam techniques were implemented? Was any part of the physical exam omitted? What are the signs and symptoms of COPD? What tests should be ordered to diagnose COPD? What may be causing the exacerbation of this patient's paranoia? What positive and negative symptoms of schizophrenia did the patient present with? What are some treatment options to consider for this patient? What was your impression of the interprofessional collaboration between the physician and psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner? Good morning, Mr. Smith. My name's Dr. Timmons. Hello. It's nice to see you this morning. Good to see you. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel okay. Is your breathing better? Yes. Okay. Good. You came in, you were pretty short of breath. Are you still coughing? Yes. A little, but not as much. Great. Are you having pains on your chest, sir? No, they're gone. And are you almost feeling back to normal? Yes. Good. Um, he's watching me. And nurses are taking my cigarettes. OK. Okay, we'll look into that and try to help you. Are you having any pains in your belly? No pains. No. Are you passing your water okay? Yes. Okay, good, good. I'm gonna take a listen, okay, sir, and we'll help you get through this. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna listen to your heart here. And can you take a couple deep breaths for me, please? Okay. In and blow out. And would you mind lying back for me, Mr. Smith? Thank you. And how long have you felt like your neighbor here is taking your cigarettes? Has he been doing that just today? Um, when I came in. Since you came in? Yes. Okay. And go ahead and put your head back and relax. Did your belly hurt you at all? No. No. Nothing hurts. And you're moving your bowels okay? Yes. Yes, okay. I'm just gonna take a look at your legs here. Okay. Well, your lungs are pretty clear. You came in with the breathing problems and that's getting much better. We need to look into what else is going on, so I'm gonna ask another practitioner to come in and examine you and talk to you. But overall, I think you're heading in the right direction. Okay. 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 It's nice to talk to you today. And I'm glad you're feeling better. Okay. Hi, Mr. Smith. 
My name's Lou Ann Richardson, and I'm going to ask you a few questions, if that's okay with you. I'm a mental health nurse practitioner, and I've reviewed your chart and talked with your physicians, and just would like to ask you a few questions. Would that be okay? Okay. How are you feeling? Is your breathing better? It's better. Physically no problems? It's better. Okay. All right. Has everybody been treating you okay here in the hospital since you've been here? No. Um, he's watching me and he, nurses and people are taking my cigarettes. So you're feeling like people are trying to harm you or are watching you closely? Yes. I do feel that. Okay. All right. And what might make you think that? I saw him watching me. Has this ever happened before? Well, I've never been here before. Okay. Like this. Are you hearing things or seeing things that maybe other people here aren't seeing or hearing? Yes, I hear people talking to me. Yes, I hear there's people talking to me. And what are they saying to you? They're saying that I'm no good. They're telling me I, I'm bad. Do they ever tell you to harm yourself? No. No, they don't tell me that. No. Do you feel safe here? Well, he's watching me. Okay. I, I feel okay, but... So what you're telling me is you're, you're sp suspicious of other people trying, just watching you closely and taking your things, taking your cigarettes. Is yes. Is that right? Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Mr. Smith, I've reviewed your medicines, and you're taking Risperidone. You've taken that a long time, is that correct? Yes. Do you know what that's for? Not exactly, no. Okay. That's for your condition, and sometimes these feelings that you're having of suspiciousness and paranoia, it can be from not taking the medicine. However, I do think that you've been taking the medicine. Some of the medicines that we've given you here, uh, notori notoriously steroids, can cause these symptoms or an increase in symptoms that you seem to be having. Okay? You mean like the voices and things? Yes, yes. So you're in a safe environment here, and we're going to follow you closely. I'm probably going to make a change in your medication. You seem to be tolerating the Risperidone well, so I may increase that and give you just a little bit of medication here to decrease some of the agitation that you're having. Does that sound okay with you? Y yes, okay. that would be okay. Now I'm going to go back and review your chart more thoroughly and I'm going to talk to your medical physician about some of the things that I think may be going on and make some recommendations. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. It was a pleasure talking with you and I will be back to see you sometime later this afternoon. Okay? Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hi, thanks so much for being available for the consult again. Thank you. It's good to see you and I appreciate it. I think from a COPD standpoint, he's doing much better. His lungs are clear. I was concerned about his confusion though and I look forward to hearing your input. Thanks, Dr. Timmons. I think Mr. Smith is experiencing an increase in his psychotic symptoms due to the steroids that he's had here in the hospital. He's had some paranoia and some thought blocking and some auditory hallucinations. I think that I'm going to increase his risperidone as he tolerated that well in the past and I'll monitor his response to that. I'll also follow his eating and sleeping closely and probably as an outpatient see him more closely as he doesn't have close family members to watch over him. What are your thoughts? 
I think that sounds great, thanks again. And from my standpoint, I'll try to decrease the dose of the steroids because I agree, I'm sure that's uh, mm -hmm. part of his, his confusion. Mm -hmm. And we'll counsel him on tobacco cessation and we also will follow him from a medical standpoint as an outpatient. That sounds great. Great to work with you again. Thank you so thanks much. Thanks so much for your help.